I'm back, children. Again, your science teacher, Mama Lunday, to discuss with you the last body system for our war modules, and that is the nervous system. The nervous system, children, coordinates body activities. It controls also body processes because of the brain. And these are the three main parts of the nervous system. We have the brain, the spinal cord, and the nerves. Its functional unit is called neuron or nerve cell. So this is the nervous system. We have two divisions of the nervous system. First, the central nervous system consists of the brain and the spinal cord. And the peripheral nervous system consisting of all the nerves in our body. Again, the two divisions of the nervous system are the central nervous system consists of the brain and the spinal cord. And the peripheral nervous system comprised of all the nerves in our body. Alamin natin isa-isa ang parts of the nervous system. Una nating pag-aralan ang brain. So this is the picture I've taken in your module. So the brain receives and interprets signals or stimuli or messages. Si brain ang tagatanggap at siya rin ang nagbibigay ng paliwanag or nagbibigay ng meaning sa lahat ng signals or mensahe na natatanggap niya mula sa iba't ibang part ng ating katawan. So that's the work of the brain. And there are three main parts of the brain, children. The first one is the cerebrum, the yellow color, the part. It is the biggest part of the brain. Why biggest part? Because marami din siyang trabaho. First, it receives sensory messages. Pag sinabi ni mom children, sensory messages, these are all the messages coming from our sense organs. Coming from your eyes, your tongue, your nose, your skin, your ears. So lahat ng messages na yan na natatanggap nila will be received, okay? Or i-deliver nila will be received by the cerebrum of the brain. And also children, the cerebrum is the center for emotions. Learning. Yung pag-aaral ninyo kung paano kayo natututo, paano kayo nakaka-learn. And voluntary movement. Ang cerebrum din ang nagko-control ng inyong uh, talino. Kung gaano kayo kagaling sa math, sa science, sa English, gaano kayo kagaling sa sa spelling, gaano kayo kagaling sa music, pagkanta, pagsayaw, everything, no? That is being controlled by the cerebrum. That's why it is considered as the biggest part of the brain dahil marami rin siyang trabaho. The second part of the brain is the cerebellum. The cerebellum, itong blue color no? na part of the brain. The cerebellum children controls involuntary and muscle action. It also maintains the sense of balance. So it means ang paggalaw ng ano mo, na ang pagtayo mo ng matuwid, ang paglalakad mo na hindi ka natutumba, ang pag-upo ng maayos, even yung paglagay, no? Pagpapasok ng mga sinulid sa karayom or pagtuhog nyo kang uh, dagam, kang dagam sa mga bayo nyo, pagtahiin nyo, butang nyo hilo sa dagam, pasidlan nyo. These are all controlled by your cerebellum. Ano pa? Kinocontrol niya rin yan children yung ano, yung, yung mga pagbabike ninyo, nababalance ninyong pagbabike. Ano pa, yung pagdadrive ninyo lahat, basta sense of balance ninyo ay kinocontrol ni cerebellum. Yung mga cyclists, yung mga nasa ano, uh, circus, yung paikot-ikot, tapos yung hawak-hawak yung mga kamay, tapos binabalibag, yung pagtatambing-tambling, these are all being controlled by your cerebellum. 
The third part, children, of the brain is the brain stem. This is the brain stem. And what is its function or trabaho? The brain stem controls vital functions, ma important functions in our body, such as respiration, digestion, and circulation. Si brain stem ang kumukontrol niyan. Yung brain stem na yan, malapit yan sa batok natin, no? sa likod kaulo natin, sa atin ngayon nga, likod, sa ilalim ng ating ulo. Yan. Kaya nga, hindi dapat yan binabatukan ang inyong likod o ang inyong brain stem. Kasi nga, pag yan ay binatukan ninyo, inampak ninyo, na napalo ninyo, or sinuntok ninyo, o nasuntok yung isang uh, tao, gamit yung kamay, or ano, pinalo dyan, may tendency talaga siyang mag, ma, ano, mamatay, or brain dead. Why? Because masastop yung respiration process niya, masastop yung digestion process niya, and masastop your circulation process niya. So, paano pa siya mabubuhay? So, dapat ingatan nyo yung inyong brain stem. Not only that, but the whole brain itself, because the brain controls everything in our body. It is known as the control center. So that's why we need to protect it. That's why it is protected by a bone known as the skull. Now let's go to the spinal cord. The spinal cord, children, is the pathway of messages to the brain and to the rest of the body or the pathway of messages from the brain to the rest of the body. It is protected by the spinal column. So look at the figure here. So this is your spinal cord inside it, no? inside the spinal column. It, it serves as the bridge between the brain and the rest of your body and between the rest of your body to the brain. So, kung may mensahe si brain, sa iba't ibang parts ng katawan, dadaan niyang kay spinal cord. And kung may messages naman, ang mga part ng katawan natin, dadaan muna yan ng spinal cord papunta sa brain. So, siya yung pinakatulay. Daanan siya ng messages to and from the, from the brain and to the rest of the body. Let's go now to the nerves. The nerves comprise the peripheral nervous system, the second division of the nervous system. The nerves, children, are carriers of information or messages. Siya yung nagdadala ng mga mensahe. And it, our nerves also are made up of neuron or nerve cell. So ito yun. Ang nerves natin ay binubuo ng neuron or nerve cell. Actually, children, even our brain, even our spinal cord are made up of this nerve cell or neuron. Kaya nga sinabi ko kanina, neuron is the functional unit of the nervous system. So our nerves or the peripheral nervous system are made up also of neurons. So, ang trabaho ng nerves, carriers of information or messages. Tagadala ng mensahe. So, saan magdadala yan? Papunta sa brain or papunta sa iba't ibang part ng ating katawan. Let's continue. Now, let's discuss more about the nerve cell or neuron. As you can see, there are three main parts of neuron. We have the dendrite, the cell body, and the axon. The dendrite is the one that carries messages toward the cell body. And it is short fiber. Siya ang nagdadala ng mensahe papunta sa cell body. Okay? So siya tatanggap. Dali niya dito sa cell body. And then, papasok naman si axon. Si axon naman ang magdadala ng mensahe mula sa cell body. Palalabasin niya naman ang mensahe papunta or palabas ng cell body going to the next neuron. While the cell body is the one that maintaining the health of the neuron. Again, itong dendrites, the shorter fiber, 
will carry the message towards the cell body. And then the cell body is the one that maintains the health of the neuron. The axon here will carry the messages away from the cell body. Then connected the naman siya into another neuron. So paano ba yung nangyayari? So alamin natin ang path of message in neuron. So here, here is the diagram of a neuron. Again, completong parts. May dendrite, may cell body, and axon. So ang message, ang mensahe, yung signal or information will be received by the dendrite. Then, pupunta siya sa cell body, yung mensahe. Then, kukuni ni axon or dadali ni axon ang mensahe palabas kay cell body. Okay? And then, it is connected, okay, another neuron is connected to the first neuron. Then, tatanggapin na naman ni dendrites yung mensahe galing dito. Tatanggapin niya ang mensahe. Pupunta kay cell body, then dadalhin na naman ni axon palabas kay cell body. Hanggat may isa na naman ditong neuron na kasunod. Ibig sabihin, tuloy-tuloy yan. Because there are millions of neurons in our body. So dito, sa pinakita ko children, dalawa pa lang yan. So yan lang po ang daan ng ating messages. Pero actually po, ano, mga bata, hindi po directly connected ang first neuron dito sa second neuron. Kasi po ang mga messages na yan ay tumatalon, parang mga electric signals po yan sa ating katawan. So kapag nandito na po yung mensahe na yan, dala-dala na ni Axon, pagpunta niya dito sa dendrite ng next neuron, tatalon po yan. It will jump. So the two neurons are not directly connected. There is a space between them and that is called synapse. The space between two neurons. So, reviewin po natin na ang path of message in neuron. So, then right, tatanggap ng message, pupunta ng cell body, then kukunin ni axon from the cell body, tatalon, pupunta sa first, sa then right ng second, uh, ng second neuron, pupunta kay cell body, then kukunin ulit ni axon going to the then right of the next neuron. So, that is the path of message in we have three types of neurons, children, based on function. Depende sa kanyang trabaho. So, meron tayong tatlong uri. We have the sensory neuron, the interneuron, and the motor neuron. Alamin natin kung anong trabaho nila. Sensory neuron, from the name itself, sensory. It brings messages from sense organs to the spinal cord and to the brain. While motor neurons naman bring messages from the brain to the spinal cord and going to the muscles and glands of our body. And motor neurons are usually known as the effector. Kasi dyan makikita yung effect. Depende ko ano yung message na ginawa or pinasabi ni brain sa different parts of our body. While the interneuron, ito pong sa gitna, it connects the sensory and motor neurons. Again po, the three types of neurons. The sensory neuron, trabaho niyan, magdala ng mensahe mula sa sense organs. Ano-ano ba yung sense organs? Mata, bibig, tenga, dila, skin. Magdadala yan ng mensahe papuntang spinal cord, papunta ng brain. And then, si motor neurons naman, Siya naman yung magdadala ng mensahe galing sa brain, kung ano yung utos ni brain. Dadaan ng spinal cord papunta sa different muscles and glands of our body. They are called as the effectors. And the third one, the interneuron, it connects the sensory and motor neurons. May tinatawag tayo children na autonomic nervous system. Itong autonomic nervous system is a component of the peripheral nervous system. In other words, puro rin ito nerves children. Kaya lang may importante siyang ginagawa sa ating katawan. 
And itong autonomic nervous system natin, may dalawang nerve dyan. Ang tinatawag na sympathetic nerve and parasympathetic nerve. Again, the two nerves in the autonomic nervous system are sympathetic nerve and the parasympathetic nerve. Ang kagandahan lang po dito sa dalawang nerves na ito ay namimaintain po nila yung balance sa ating katawan. Sa paanong paraan po? Okay? Halimbawa, heart rate, yung tibok ng puso natin. Ang gagawin ni sympathetic nerve, pabibilisin niya. So, ang gagawin naman ni parasympathetic, paano niya? Gagawin niyang slow yung heart rate, so binabalance nila. The sympathetic nerve will make it fast, the parasympathetic nerve will make it slow. So, nababalance. Okay? Halimbawa yung kidney naman, children. Ang gagawin ni sympathetic nerve, no? may effect siyang gagawin, it will decrease the urine output in our body. Pero, ang gagawin naman ni parasympathetic nerve, i-increase na naman yung urine. Si parasympathetic palagi ang kumukontra sa ginagawa ni, sem ni sympathetic nerve. So, in that case, nababalance ang mga bagay-bagay sa ating katawan. So, that's why napaka-miraculous ano, napaka talaga na ating katawan because of this nervous system, itong mga nerves na ito. Huh? We are so thankful to God for giving us this type of body. And of course, another example is the eye. Huh? Ang eye, ang gagawin ni sympathetic nerve kay eye, palalakihin niya. Okay? Dilation. And then, ano naman ang gagawin ni parasympathetic nerve? Iko-contract niya naman yun. So, nagko-contrahan ay sanda, children. Pero it's okay lang. Kasi there is balance in our body. The autonomic nervous system, children, maintains the normal function of our body. Okay? Naintindihan? Let us answer the question, how the nervous system works. Kasi alam natin, ang nervous system natin, children, it coordinates bodily activities. It can control body organs, the whole body, because it has the brain. But this, I'm going to explain to you how the nervous system works. Paano nyo ba ito ginagawa, ang coordination of all bodily activities? So, magbigay tayo ng halimbawa. Situation, there is a snake. Ayan, may ahas. Sa lubong mo yung aha, sa daanan habang naglalakad ka. So, what will happen? How will the nervous system react in this situation? First, the sensory nerve of the eye carries the message to the brain. Yung sensory nerve ng mata natin, nakita ng mata, may nakita ang mata, dadali niya yan sa brain. Then, the brain receives the message. Natanggap ng brain yung message. Ano ngayon ang gagawin ni brain? The brain interprets the message that there is a snake. Take note children ha, hindi ang mata ang nagsabi na may snake. It is the brain. Ang snake, ang, ang ating mata may nakita lang. Pero nung nalaman nating as pala yung nakita natin, ang brain po ang nagsabi noon. So na-interpret na ni brain na merong ahas or snake. Ano ngayon ang isa pang utos ni brain? Mag-uutos na siya kasi nakapag-interpret na siya eh. The brain sends a message. It will send a message through the motor neuron going to the feet. So sabi ni brain, motor neuron, bigyan mo to ng mensahe ang feet. And then, the reaction of the feet, it will run. So ulitin natin na, magpapadala ng mensahe ang sensory nerve ng eye papunta ng brain. Pagdating sa brain, i-interpret ni brain. Sabi ng brain, there is a snake. Then, sabi ni brain, sa ating feet, you run. That's why you run upon seeing the snake. Pero, actually children, mabilisan ito. Hindi po ito, it will take a, a minute or what. Mabilis po ito. Kaya sometimes, may mga reaction kayo na mabilis. Pero sometimes, mabagal rin kayo mag-react because hindi ka agad nakapagbigay ng interpretation. Hindi ka agad nakapagbigay si brain ng message kung ano yung gagawin ng iyong katawan. Limbawa, nakita mo na yung snake, natulala ka lang. Walang mensahe si brain kung tatakbo ka ba, magja-jump ka ba, tatalon ka ba, iiyak ka ba, mamumurtla ka ba. 
iiyak ba yun wala wala pang sina walang kaagad na sinabi ang brain sa iyong part ng katawan kaya sometimes matagal kang mag-react so depende yan sa mensahe na ibibigay ni brain sa iyong iba't ibang part ng katawan upon the brain interprets the situation okay let us have another situation ito naman yung situation natin children There is an ice cream on the table. Ayan, may ice cream daw sa table ninyo. Nakita nyo, no? Pero actually, hindi nyo pa yun alam na ice cream. It was the brain that interpreted it. Okay? So, isa-isa natin yung step. The sensory nerve of the eye carries the message to the brain. The brain receives the message. And the brain interprets the message that there is an ice cream. So, doon nyo palang malalaman, ay, ice cream yun sa table. Okay? So, the brain sends a message through the motor neuron going to the hand and mouth. So, depende kung ano yung utusan ng brain na gumala or magbigay ng reaction or ng effect. So, if the hand will get an order from the brain, the hand gets the spoon and then the mouth eats the ice cream. So, kung pwede namang sa ilong, aamuyin niya lang yung ice cream, depende kung saan. Pwede sa skin or sa hand mo, ang utos ng brain is to fill the ice cream how cold. Okay, it is. So, depende children kung anong part ng katawan mo nagbigay ng utos si brain. At depende rin kung anong sense organ mo ang nagpadala ng mensahe sa brain. Depende kung ano yung unang nakareceive ng message or nakatanggap uh, ng mensahe. It could be your tongue, it could be your nose, it could be your ears. Okay? Limbawa, Nag-bell na yung ring sa school. Ano ba? May pasok na tayo. No? Face-to-face na tayo. Narinig yung bell. So, yung iyong nerve of your ears will carry the message to the brain. And then the brain receives the message. The brain will interpret second bell. Time for flag ceremony. So, si brain, magsisend ng signal sa hand mo as a yung fit, go to the gym. Okay. May dyan naman na magsisend siya ng message sa iyong katawan, wag kang gumalaw. Okay, so that's why nalilit kayo sa flag ceremony. Anyway, isa lang ang gustong sabihin ng ating topic. Kung paano kinokontrol, kung paano nababalance, kung paano nakocoordinate ni nervous system ang lahat-lahat ng part ng ating katawan, ang lahat-lahat na nangyayari sa ating katawan. And that is made possible because of the three main parts, the brain, the spinal cord, and the nerves. The three main parts of the nervous system. But maybe you will be ans uh, asking me, ma'am, paano naman ma'am yung ano? Paano man kung ano, may mga reactions na kaagad ginagawa mo na hindi mo na pag-iisipan? Yes, there are children. Sometimes may mga message na hindi na nakakarating sa brain. Nandun lang sila sa spinal cord. At yun ay tinatawag nating special emergency action. May mga messages children na hindi nakaabot sa brain mo. Hanggang spinal cord lang siya. Ang tawag dyan ay reflex action. Tawag dyan sa mga ganyang klase ng uh, reaction ng ating katawan. Halimbawa, napasok ka sa kandila. Hindi, hindi ka na maghihintay ko ng utos ng brain. Automatic, tinatanggal mo yung kamay mo. Example yan ng reflex action. Ito yung mga actions or mga reaction mo na ginagawa mo na hindi nakakarating sa nervous system or sa brain natin hanggang spinal cord lang siya. The term is reflex action. Okay? So, that is all about our nervous system children. I hope may na-learn naman kayo about the nervous system. So, pakinggan nyo lang ulit ang trabaho, ang parts ng nervous system, pwede nyo itong ulit-ulitin para mas maintindihan ninyo. Sa ulit, Si Ma'am Alunday po ito, at your service, your science teacher, wishing you all happy learning. God bless and stay safe, everyone.